We acknowledge that we are in the homeland of Duwamish people. A group of high schoolers. We raise our hands to honor all descendants. All indigenous from tribes all across the country. And we acknowledge the ongoing disparities, racism and political. Clear at North Seattle Community College at the Clear Skies Academy. My name is Kayla Harstad. I am Turnaman Chippewa and Assiniboine. My name is Timothy Andre Shea and I am Yakuma native. My name is Yellow Buffalo Stone Woman. I'm from the Blackfeet Nation. And my English name is Leilani Norman Big Spring. I think most history books do not cover the full uh, aspects of what it was like to be an indigenous person. Western education teaches us like the same genocide moments in history without actually showing the perspective of the indigenous like people. What I would say would be most valuable that I've learned from this class would be a native indigenous history that I wouldn't have heard about in like a normal school setting, like in a normal uh, public school. This is cedar bark that was harvested by my family. This program that we're in it gives us a big opportunity to connect with our whole nation and our whole tribes. This is an academy that teaches true history of our indigenous people. It gives us resilience. It gives us learning from our elders. We're doing traditions of cedar. We're trying to talk about the culture of each one of these things. The class is part of a nonprofit urban native education alliance. And I want my knot to be right next to it. Students from five different districts earn school credits learning about indigenous languages. And as tribal people, culture, we have 10,000 years on this ground right here. And history. Everything that you make is a part of you being a tribal person. When I am teaching weaving, I know that this tradition is going to last for another 10,000 years. My grandfather, he's He's amazing. Um, he's always, he's always taught me to be strong. He's always taught me to persevere, to follow the right road. Whenever I look at this picture, I think about his strength and how he expressed his beauty when it comes to our culture and being Blackfeet. These pictures I got taken, I decided to wear my regalia. I chose to wear red so I can represent the ones who have been silent, the ones who have shed blood, the ones who have shared trauma. I could feel him. I could feel his presence. I could feel his strength. And I thought of him this whole time through this photo shoot, remembering how much he got weak by the time he passed away, I'm wearing this so that I can be strong. For Leilani, the clothing, this class, this Native American Heritage Month, all chances to carry on grandfather's legacy. It gives us an opportunity to speak out. It gives an opportunity to spotlight our resilience and spotlight our traditions and to be able to be ourselves. Native American Heritage Month is important to me because it shows me that I'm giving back to my ancestors and I'm thanking them and I'm get, passing down the cultural teachings that my tradition and family and tribes have given me. What words come to me when I hear Indigenous or Native American, I think strength, resilience, most definitely like triumph. Powerful, brave, perseverance. Beauty in all of it. And I am really proud to be indigenous. <laughs>